Hi everyone and a happy Valentine's Day to you. My name is Laura Holly and this is Pedagogo Reviews, reviewing albums and EPs from popular, lesser known and independent artists. Today I'm reviewing the second album from Local Natives titled Hummingbird, which was released on the 28th of January this year through Infectious Music. Local Natives are an indie rock band from Silver Lake in LA who recently finished touring with Arcade Fire, and their debut album Gorilla Manor received praise from critics and the public who sent it to number three on the New Artist Billboard chart, a setup of expectation and anticipation for their second album Hummingbird. It took me quite a few listens before I started appreciating this album, three to be exact, and the moment came to me a bit like a revelation. I was just walking along to work and suddenly it was like, ah, I see. And it has now become a thought-provoking album with plenty of hanging chords, pretty guitar picking and piano playing, rolling drums, reverb vocals, and lots of lovely harmonizing. And for me, it talks about two relationships, a human relationship on songs like You and I, Ceilings, uh, Mount Washington and Bowery, and a religious relationship on songs like Columbia, Woolly Mammoth, Three Months and Heavy Feet. But it's not delivered in the stereotypical manner of I love you, you don't love me back, so I'm heartbroken now. It's mostly positive reflection or live singing in the moment. For example, the track Black Spot seems to be a narration from someone who is in fear of dying from cancer, but they overcome that fear and accept that God is coming to take them away because that is the path that he chose for them. Overanalyzing? Maybe. But although I'm not a religious person, I don't believe in God, I find it really interesting when I hear songs that make me think about God and beliefs and faith and having that kind of relationship with someone who I'd say isn't there. So here we come to the tracks on Hummingbird, which I would play, skip and repeat. The track I would play has been changing consistently, and I think it will continue to do so, but at the moment I would play Mount Washington. Now, I like sad songs, I like a good song about heartbreak, that's just how it is, and Mount Washington is a beautiful, woeful track, and the vocal from Taylor Rice is, is it quivers with slurry drunk misery, and it's delightful. I would skip three months because it is the most monotone on the album, it doesn't really go anywhere and I'm not too sure about the piano riff, but there is a little moment near the end of the song where the reverb on the vocals suddenly drops out and I really like that. And I would repeat Willy Mammoth. This song is quite epic and it brings about a great change of pace for the album. The verse is pure drum roll and pinchy piano and guitar and loud bass. And then the chorus arrives with vengeance, and it soars, and it's all quite majestic. It's a song that you need to play loudly. So I give Local Natives Hummingbird a 3 out of 5. It's good, not quite amazing, and I would say it's not an instant grabber, but it's also not a pop album, so it takes it takes a bit of earwork to let it sink into the mind. Local natives are currently on tour in Europe where a lot of the shows have sold out, and then after this they'll be going back to the US for another tour, but do not worry, they will be coming back to Europe in October and November later this year. And just as a side note, I saw them last night in Portsmouth and they were absolutely brilliant. So I highly recommend you go and purchase tickets wherever you can. For details on any of the shows that are currently going on or in the future, just click on the link I have posted in the description box below for their official website, along with their official Twitter and YouTube channel. Thanks for watching, folks. To watch any other reviews, go to the Pedagogo Music channel or to keep up to date with the latest latest Pedagogo reviews, just subscribe. And remember, if you have any review requests or music recommendations for me, just leave a comment below or send me a message or tweet me at Pedagogo Music. The next Pedagogo review will be for Frightened Rabbit's Pedestrian Verse. So till then, have a good week. Come find me now, we'll hide our